when people download for free, do you consider that stealing? Yes. Yes, I do consider it stealing. But there are some forms of theft that I think are OK. <laughs> OK, think, so you, you consider know. it stealing, but it's OK stealing. Just, well, you know, I'm conflicted. I'm conflicted about it. And I must admit, I have downloaded uh, songs myself. So, um, and I feel conflicted. But I quite like the feeling of being conflicted about it. Mm. But there are lots of people a little younger than you, with respect, who would never have paid for anything. Is that OK? They would never have been out to buy a CD. They would have downloaded everything. Yes. Well, morally, I don't, uh, I don't think it's it good or bad. Uh, I, it's, it's what seems to be happening at the moment. Uh, technology often writes the rules as it goes along, and we just have to catch up with it. Um, there were behemoths in the industrial age that fell by the wayside because uh, everything modernised, and I think we're experiencing that again. Um, I, I certainly think it's difficult for bands when they weigh in on the side of uh, the music industry they then get tainted by that. When we look at Metallica and, and other bands, extraordinarily good bands, that have become slightly tainted by the fact that they've demanded that uh, you know, their fans don't download them from the internet. I think it's happening. Uh, it's, it's how we're going to deal with it that'll be interesting. I mean, the record companies are certainly losing out. Yes. But isn't the money now just going to the telcos and once again the songwriters are getting left out? Well, they, well yeah, I suppose. Well, I think the telcos have to... Well, the telcos are evil. I don't know if you... Are aware, they're just evil. They're... they're yeah, that's the modern Satan telecommunications companies in my book at the moment. Um, uh, mm. Well, they're the ones who are benefiting, isn't it, from the downloading? Telstra and the, the ISPs, the internet service yeah. providers. I suppose you're right. The kids should do something about MySpace it. Well, maybe, that's where they, maybe they should be the ones paying a, a, some sort of uh, premium to the artists, you know? Because the artists are the ones... I don't really care that much about the, the companies. It's, it's clear that they seem to be making uh, money hand over fist at the moment, uh, especially the CEOs of these companies that take away outrageous amounts of money for the jobs that they do. Um, and certainly, uh, um, you know, the people that... Uh, you know, the artists have always lost out in the long run anyway, normally. So many of them out there wanting to perform their works and everyone takes a piece of the pie. If you look at anyone's, like, earnings off a CD or whatever, it's, it's minimal compared to the outlay costs around it. Now, whether those costs are all real costs, or they're you know, invented or inflated costs by record companies or whatever. I don't know. But, um... Do you think the music itself will outlive this phase? People are into games at the moment, aren't they? But, you know, now, now, now creative bands are, are moving into music for, for game playing, so I think music will always be around. I don't think anything's going to kill it. Um, and it's just a, it's, it's a wonderful, organic way of getting music out there, and that's what I think is you know, extraordinarily exciting about this age. I think if you're a dinosaur and you're, you're, you're holding back, then you will die. I'd, I'd say run with it, see, see where you end up, see what, see what it takes you. But if, you, if you're stubborn and uh, recalcitrant, then you probably deserve to end up the way of the steam train. Certainly if you're young, starting out, getting songs out on YouTube or uh, MySpace, to the rest of the world is an extraordinary way of um, you know, uh, circumventing the market, doing it by yourself, and that's extraordinary. And, getting the word out. Getting the word out, and certainly you know, there have been some bands that have risen through that. Um, you know, if, if you believe the hype about people like the Arctic Monkeys, that they started off with that sort of thing, and that, that band is extraordinary. Um, uh, it certainly has put the music industry, um, sort of like given, the, given notice to the music industry, and that may, may not be a good thing, I don't know.